Hello, my name is Lockie, and this is Coast Watch Football, your home for all things A-League. And this is the first episode in what might turn into a little bit of a series here on the Coast Watch Football YouTube channel, talking about all of the latest transfer news across the A-League. Of course, this is the first week of the off-season after the grand final last week. Today, it's the 3rd of June, and we've got a lot to talk about regarding a number of A-League clubs. Plenty of teams already starting their rebuilds for next season. And the first piece of news to talk about, and in my opinion, probably the biggest piece of news news from the past week in the A-League is Ruben Zadkovic has been officially appointed as head coach for the next couple of years at Perth Glory. Of course, he took over after Richard Garcia left halfway through last campaign and, look, did the best he could with a very young and inexperienced squad missing so many key players. But we saw a number of players, and I remember specifically Daryl Latchman, one of the key senior figures in that Perth Glory squad, mentioned how he enjoyed playing under Ruben Zadkovic and he hoped that he would stay on for next year. So by the sound of things this is a good appointment for for Perth Glory I'm interested to see how Zadkovic goes and the announcement of Zadkovic as head coach has been followed by a number of other appointments including Joe Gallen and Chris Coyne who join as assistants Kenny Lowe the former Glory coach he's joining as academy director Mitch Diavery will join as technical consultant and former striker who just retired this past season Andy Keogh joining as head of recruitment next we're talking about Western Sydney Wanderers who have been very busy this past week and one of those key teams in the A League who I think really needed to go through, I guess, yet another rebuild this season after another disappointing campaign last time around. And they've brought in fringe Socceroo goalkeeper Lawrence Thomas. This is a big signing. Lawrence Thomas made 122 appearances for Melbourne Victory. He spent the last couple of years in Denmark where he made a total of 56 appearances. So he's returning to the A-League now, 30 years of age. And I think this is a good signing for Western Sydney Wanderers. They had Thomas Mejias, Daniel Margush last season as A-League goalkeepers. I think this is a step up for Western Sydney Wanderers when it comes to the goalkeeping ranks. The Wanderers have also pinched young striker from their crosstown rival Sydney FC. Zach Zabsford joins the club after playing 12 times in the MPL this year, scoring seven goals. It's not the first time Wanderers have picked off a young striker from their crosstown rivals, Geordie Swivel, joining last year. And coach Mark Rudan and Western Sydney have shown their commitment to youth once again with the re-signing of Alessandro Lapane. The 18-year-old made a number of appearances last season for the Wanderers and signs a three-year deal. This next one for me is the biggest player move we've seen across the A-League so far this off-season. Steven Ugarkovic, released by Western Sydney Wanderers, has joined Wellington Phoenix, a move that I don't think anyone saw coming, but it's a big plus for Wellington Phoenix. Of course, Ugarkovic has spent time at Newcastle Jets, had a decent campaign last season at Western Sydney Wanderers, and it's a big plus for Wellington, who they've said they've signed him due to the, the ongoing knee injury to Captain Alex Rufa. He's going to provide some cover in that defensive midfield area, and Ugarkovic actually cited that one of the big reasons as to why he joined the New Zealand club was coach Ufuk Tale, which is sort of a big deal because there's been whispers for a long time now that Ufuk Tale would potentially return to Australia and join an Australian-based A-League club. So this sort of confirms that Ufuk Tale is indeed staying at Wellington Phoenix this year. Time to talk about Adelaide United now, and the Reds have announced the signing of Mark Milligan, not as a player, as an assistant coach. Again, another bit of a bizarre one. It, it is funny seeing the pictures of Mark Milligan in an Adelaide United shirt, but he joins as assistant coach under Carl Vert for the next two years. Milligan has had brief coaching experiences at MacArthur FC and St. George FC in the NPL 1. The Reds have been one of the teams to announce play departures this past week and have let Joey Coletti, George Timotheu, Jacob Tratt and Cassini Yangi leave the club. George Timotheu, we're hearing potentially rumoured to join Melbourne Victory, hasn't been confirmed yet. And Cassini Yangi, there are whispers that he could be heading to Western Sydney Wanderers. Adelaide have made two pretty major re-signings though. Yavi Lopez, one day, the two Spaniards signing on for next season after really solid campaigns last year for Adelaide. One piece of news from Brisbane Raw this past week, and it's a big piece of news, Henry Hall, one of the stars of the season for Brisbane Raw, the 22-year-old had a fantastic season bagging five goals. He signed a long-term contract, which is good news for Brisbane Raw. Kai Rolls has been linked to a move to Scotland, to Hearts, a move that I don't think we would be surprised to see. Of course, Kai Rolls now a socceroo and had a stellar campaign once again at Central Coast Mariners this season. So what do you make of these player movements? Which one caught your eye? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. It's really fascinating to see where certain players are going. Even though there's no football happening, it is certainly still a very busy time in the A-League. And if you guys would like to see regular videos like this, potentially a weekly series happening, let me know down in the comments if you'd be keen to see something like that. But the best way to show your support is to hit that like button. It helps me out a whole lot. My name's Lockie. This is Coast Watch Football. See you guys in the next one.